Hi, my name is Eric Whitkop. I'm a security consulting system engineer with Cisco. And today we're going to take a look at health policies on the Firepower Management Center version 6.1. What we're going to be using today is one uh, ASA 5506 that is in FTD mode. Uh, basically the code on there is the FTD image. Okay, and then we're going to use a Firepower Management Center, aka FMC, version 6.1. So let's get into it. So I'd like to first point out that this is not best practices for firepower health policies, nor is it a recommendation for any one of these fields. How you configure it is based on what your company needs. And this video is merely here to show you how to configure the different values and what is possible within the product. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. So let's define what a health policy is. A health policy is a set of criteria that I would like to monitor around an FMC or a, an actual firewall uh, sensor appliance out in the field. Okay, and by default, there won't be any health policy. So the first thing you're going to do when you deploy your FMC along with your different sensors is that you're going to to create your own health policy and for example I might want to monitor CPU and memory of a remote sensor and I might want to monitor um, licensing on my FMC and I want to syslog the FMC alerts and I want to SNMP trap out the the uh, CPU and memory re uh, relating to my sensor I have all the flexibility to define what type of alert whether it's syslog or SNMP and I can set thresholds and enable or disable certain modules, we're going to call them. So uh, a CPU and memory, that would be a module, okay? And first thing we're going to do is we, we're in our Firepower, or, or sorry, our, our FMC 6.1. I go over to System, Health, and then Policy, okay? If it's red, it means that's where I am now. That's the nav uh, to remind me where I am, okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to make a new policy. Now notice that there's an initial health policy, but it's applied to none. That's why we're going through this. This is going to be the first thing you want to do when you deploy your FMC. Okay, so we'll call this one Eric. Sure, why not? And notice that we're copying it. You must copy it from somewhere. And we're going to copy it from our default. And of course, it's still applied to none. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the pencil and I'm going to edit it. Okay. Now we go through uh, the run interval. Okay, five minutes, meaning I'm going to do polling every five minutes to find out if that condition is still satisfied, if there's an alert or not, right? So every five minutes by default is when I'm going to poll and it's configurable, okay? So let's go through some of these. Uh, one question you're gonna ask is which, what should I uh, tune, which should I, what should I enable and what should I disable by default so you just saw me copy the initial policy and there's going to be three or four sections that we're i'm going to tell you to go through and make sure that they're turned on that are not turned on by default but we'll get to that at the end let's just go through and we're going to define out what some of these different fields are amp for endpoint that's the idea of of uh the fmc is going to go outbound on 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 ssl 443 and make sure that we can reach the amp for endpoint console okay same thing for firepower services. Every five minutes, it's going to go out and check and make sure that we can get to the necessary, uh, you know, quote unquote, cloud services. Appliance heartbeats. Okay. Okay. We have uh, the automatic application bypass status or AAB. Uh, this is monitoring whether a sensor is in uh, bypass mode or not and getting alerted on the fact that it is in bypass mode. Now this only applies to the 7,000 and 8,000 series appliances. Okay, and we'll just go through the list here. Uh, CPU usage is off by default. You might want to turn that on. It's up to you. Uh, and these are the default values. We'll warn you at uh, 80 or higher. And then uh, at 90, it's a, in the critical state and you'll get an alert to that effect. And that's off by default. Then we have card resets, cluster failovers, um, you know, uh, it's going to take me a long time to go through all these monitoring HA status, 
uh, memory usage is on by default and again very similar values those are configurable power supplies process statuses RRD is a uh, process running on the FMC uh, RRD stands for round robin sorry round robin daemon okay security intelligence that's that feed from the cloud of blacklisted IPs and we're going to let you know if we cannot reach the cloud server to pull that feed okay so that's probably something you want to have enabled assuming that you're licensed for security intelligence uh, smart licensing status can I reach the licensing server uh, so on and so on uh, skipping a few of these user agent status now a user agent is uh, the process running on your active directory server that I can pull to find out username to IP mappings and now I'm able to monitor if that's if that UA that user agent process is not running or for whatever reason the FMC cannot connect to that user agent process on your active directory so by default it's off you might want to turn that on if you have um, an AD in your network and you want to make sure that that's always running okay now that the policy is configured we're not going to apply it just yet we're going to we're going to continue to look at some of the other pages around health policies and then our last step will be to actually apply it okay so we're not done yet we're going to keep we're going to continue on we're going to look at well let's go to monitor first basically monitor is a, a dashboard of all the the health events and you can look at it in a nice pie chart format which I'll paint right here and it'll give me a breakdown give me an idea of what's happening and then describe it in my case I have a, a licensing issue I'm out of compliance okay uh, I can look at a full list of the events in like an enum format and that'll come up in a minute here's all the different uh, events that are going on in the status we even show the good ones which is good uh, in security we say if you don't log it then it didn't happen right so we're logging all the events some good some bad but you need to have full visibility right uh, blacklist blacklist is the idea of things that I don't want to monitor I don't want to monitor let's say I don't know maybe we're going to be doing some maintenance on this wall right here on uh, midnight this coming Saturday so what I'm going to do is I'll, I can just blacklist the entire device. I'll go ahead and do that for you. This device is now blacklisted. Now, does that mean that this device is not going to generate alerts? No, it will still generate the alerts, but they will be marked as disabled so that our SOC or our NOC knows what to do and we can we can temporarily disregard these messages because this particular device is blacklisted so now I'm going to undo that by saying saying clear blacklist on selected device now what's important to note here is I can hit the pencil and I can go in and pick which devices I care about and which ones I don't now remember we're in the blacklist section so anything that I check I'm saying I don't care about this I don't care about hardware alarms okay and I'll hit save uh, but in this case we're not going to do that but notice the flexibility here I can go on a, on a per uh, module basis I can blacklist entire uh, firewalls if I want to um, which is nice it gives me a lot of flexibility uh, finally monitor alerts monitor alerts uh, gives me a, a, a set of things that I care about and how I want to treat them so it's very typical to select I'm holding down the, the shift key I'm selecting all severities I'm going to the module and I'm gonna hit the select key again and select all of them and I'm gonna name this one Eric and the alert that I've already configured on another page outside of the monitoring uh, the, the health policy is called Eric and it's a syslog alert type so on UDP 514 we're gonna send out messages to, uh, to whatever IP address is my sim server okay and if I just hit save oh no alert selected let me try that again 
Oh, I got to Whoops. Okay. And hit save. So I could have multiple health alerts. Um, I could have SNMP here. Um, I, I could select certain things um, and decide to SNMP off certain events or syslog off certain events. I have all types of flexibility here, which is awesome. All right. Okay. Now let's go back to policy. We're finally ready to deploy our health policy. But I shouldn't have used the word deploy because what I want to note here is that while you're used to typically going to the deploy button to push policy, because this involves the FMC itself, the flow is a little different. So if I want to deploy the Eric policy, I'm going to hit the green checkbox, which will bring me down to a sub page. Now here I have the ability, I'm going to select all devices and I'm going to apply. And now you see that it's applied to one device. And we're waiting for it to apply to my FMC also, which is an, an appliance in the network. OK, so it took about a minute or so to apply to the FMC. It was a lot faster on the, the firewall itself. And then the FMC was applied. So now we have two appli appliances that are uh, enjoying the health policy named Eric. And one final thing I wanted to point out is that if you go to import export, you'll see that you can actually import a health policy from another FMC. Uh, here's the different packages I have already that I could export, um, or I could upload a new package from another FMC, same version. Okay, it's important to note the version. And that's all. Thank you for watching.